Hey everybody, I'm Austin from Spur Design Garage. Today we're gonna to be doing a parking lot flip, but we're gonna be taking a little bit of a different means of accomplishing it. Instead of jumping into Photoshop, I'm gonna do a little bit of pen and pencil sketching, have a little bit of fun sketching just hands on paper. And we're gonna flip this Jaguar XK8 that I thought was pretty cool out in the parking lot, um, pretty rare luxury coupe and turn it into something a little bit different, a little bit more modern with some D-type elements and I'm gonna tell you some of the techniques behind it. All right, so here we are. I tend to sketch pretty large on 11 by 17 paper. You can see I'm using a big crystal uh, ballpoint pen and I'm just starting to block in some of the main defining elements so that I can have a better understanding of where this vehicle sits on the page or the paper. Um, I've got my rims set in a perspective view and then I'm starting to build out the ground line. Now the shoulder line, this is a really organic vehicle. The shoulder line is just gonna help me to create some of the construction behind this vehicle and make sure that I'm getting my proportions, my perspective all lined up. Then I've got the other side of that. I tend to draw through as well. So you, you see the other side of the tire over there on the other side of the vehicle. That helps me to kind of ground this vehicle in space and build it out as a 3D volume on the paper. And I'm starting to put in defining elements that help me to build this volume. So I have the center line there. Um, just generally trying to understand how this is going to look in 3D. And I'm building out more of those details to just sort of block in all these different volumes that I want. I'm really going for a little bit more of a sharp uh, version. Maybe this is kind of a modern take. I'm, I'm trying to use elements from the original XK8 here, but um, sharpen it up and make some changes that I would make if I owned this vehicle. There's a lot of form differences in here. Um, you can see that I'm building out this kind of wing-like element that is just abstractly reminiscent of the uh, arrow element that you'd see on the back side of the D-Type Jag just behind the driver. Um, cool Le Mans uh, 50s racer. So taking a little bit of that inspiration and now transitioning that into the body side um, as it stems from behind the window. I'm going to use that as kind of my defining character line. So you can see that I'm really playing it in um, in terms of darkness. I want to make sure that it's called out um, quite heavily and called out as the focal point as well as the character line that divide, divides basically the entire vehicle up. I've added a little bit of uh, pencil shading in here. This is a Prismacolor pencil. Just trying to get in the rough um, overall form language. This is a really organic looking vehicle. So I decided that a Prismacolor pencil is a really great way to get in this organic looking shading. Um, and I think it pairs really nicely with the ballpoint pen. It just gives this high contrast, yet a lot of value um, from the, the pencil itself. And you can see I'm just shading in the overall kind of uh, volumes that I wanna show off. Some of the forms around where the uh, wing-like element are created are not super resolved, um, but for now we're gonna leave it as kind of a sketchy element. In the original x that I pictured here, it's a very, very organic kind of flower petal-like um, wheel design. So we're gonna put that in as well, just to retain some of this kind of 90s melted heritage. Um, and obviously you can see that a lot of that I'm taking out and I'm adding, adding in a lot of this sharpness, thinking about how that character line flows across the entire body side and also transitions into different graphics. So this lower air dam that I'm building out right now um, or a sort of diffuser-like element that's gonna house maybe exhaust is building off of the volumes that I already have. So I'm not creating any new themes, I'm just adding to the original theme. Now I'm trying to come up with a different taillight design that might look like it's incorporated into this wing-like element. It's starting to look a little bit maybe Aston Martin-esque, but um, I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't turn into an extended light bar that is gonna stretch over the entire thing, which would really make it look like an Aston Martin. We're gonna do something just a little bit different here. 
um, again, just indicating and now adding a little bit of Sharpie to some of those elements that I want to call out. Everything that I want to call out is really the focal point, the character line that's stemming from that wing-like element, as well as things that are closest to the viewer. So right around that fender where the tail lamp is sitting. And yeah, just indicating some of these details, um, like the exhaust in that diffuser area, starting to build out some of the shading with that Prismacolor pencil, making sure that a lot of these uh, elements look incorporated into the body side. The XK has this sort of lack, like it's a very pure form on the body side and it has this lack of incorporation of the wheels really. There's no transition around um, the form there. So I added a little bit of that just to give it a little bit more of uh, sort of a modern look. Um, a little bit more definition around the rims and then I'm just vignetting out uh, the ground shadow and this is going to help ground it into the the page itself really making it look like it's standing off it's adding contrast from the body side to the ground as well as making it look like it's it's on a 3d plane um, just a few details you know thinking about maybe there's a detail that i can incorporate into the front fender maybe it's a vent of some sort that is uh, just loosely indicated and is flowing from the main form itself. So again, not any other theme. This is a very pure design, so I'm trying to retain a little bit of that and not add too much. I feel like already some of that uh, lower detailing where the exhaust is is getting a little bit complicated. Adding a little bit of shading into the glass, which is going to be fairly dark because it's a very reflective material and it's it's a material change uh, from the, the metal of the body side. So. We're gonna call that out just a little bit. And I'm starting to just add contrast in areas where I think is needed. Loose indication of the concavity of the rim itself, um, as well as tire treads, a little bit more definition around where uh, the rim elements are in terms of detailing. And starting to call out some of those elements like the tail lamp in a bit more of that ballpoint pen. And of course, you have to sign your work. Felt like there was a few more things I wanted to call out. Again, I'm really trying to add a lot of contrast to the uh, wing-like element. You'll see in a second just the a bit more of a clear photo of what that looks like. Yep, sign and date. Make sure you always have that in there. And again, adding more contrast with a Sharpie at this point to just define some of those elements call out some of the shadowing that might be taking place and also just have a little bit of artistic fun with uh, making that focal point a little bit more dark. So here's where we started. Here's where we ended up. Let me know what you think. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Uh, go ahead and tap that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.